Hey guys, this is Martin. Welcome back to the Firefox extension mini series. And today's Firefox extension I want to show you is something called mod header. So head over to Google, Google mod header, uh, Firefox extension, then you end up at this page and you're going to install it, right? And that's basically it. And how it looks like is something like this, right? Like, so you have different profiles here. You can create different profiles. So you can go to profile one and then you can basically put like request headers in there, right? So you can then say like, okay, this is like a an X forwarded for or something like this or X forwarded IP or X host or whatever you want to test. And then what it does, it's it's adding this request header, for example, to each request once you browse through the website. So it's incredibly useful. You can do this in Burp with match replace, no problem, right? But um, for those of you less experienced and, and just starting out, yeah, I found this extension to be super useful. And it's not just headers, right? You can modify the request headers. This was just an example. You want to set the header to, to a certain value. You want to set the header to Burp Collaborator um, uh, URL or something, then you, you can do it like, like this. And you, and you have different profiles, right? But you can also modify like a response header, for example. Um, this, is, this is when it gets interesting, like when the server is setting something and then you may want to um, put in a false response into your browser, right? So, so I had scenarios in, in, in real bug bounties when there was a verification request made over to the server and then you were intercepting the response effectively and you changed values in the response and then the, the client side controls accepted these modified responses and stuff like that. So it can be incredibly useful, right? The other thing with a cookie request, right? Like for example, you can then change the cookie. You can use authorize and stuff like that in Burp as well for this, so no problem. But same goes for cookie request, cookie response. You can modify the, the content security policy. Redirect URLs is super useful. Like if you have like redirect parameters on the website and they are always going like to forward slash, like to the homepage or forward slash my account. And you want to change and want to check on the fly while you browse the website, whether you could actually um, you know, get an open redirect going or something like this, or like other things which spring to mind here is SSRF testing, um, where you then put in a 127001, for example, and stuff like that. So um, super useful. You can have different profiles. I believe there's a paid version for this as well. Um, to be honest, I have never used that. Um, but I find it useful and it's, it's just um, basically modifying header information and responses on the fly as you browse the website. I hope you find this useful and please subscribe to the channel and I see you in the next video.